What's up everyone? Welcome to another Lift Journal entry. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone that checked out that last episode. Uh, by day three, I had like over a thousand views, which is unheard of for this project. Uh, so exciting, so much good feedback. I got no thumbs downs, which was amazing. Uh, and just in general, everybody's asking about the portal boards and what you want to do is you want to hit up Eric over at the progression project, get on that list. They're so good, especially if you're running Unifoil, um, which I obviously am and I would not change a thing. When you guys give the thumbs up and share this stuff, it makes me want to do more things with this whole project. I don't like the idea of reviewing product, but to a certain degree, I kind of am. Uh, and the reason why I don't like it is because I've only been foiling for less than a year and I feel like I don't know enough about it, but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of people kind of in my same position, maybe a few months ahead, maybe a few months behind me that could kind of get some information to help them in their foiling journey. So with that said, we'll talk real quick about the 170, which is something that I haven't really spoken about. I've had it for about, probably about a month or so. And uh, it's a really great wing for me. Um, it's a little big for my everyday. And I feel like that's something else that you have to think about. You have to think about when you're looking at selecting wings, especially ones that are super easy to ride to begin with. Maybe you can go a little smaller. As I've said, the 140 is my one wing quiver. It's worked in super small stuff. It's worked pretty well in big stuff. You've already heard me say that. The 170 is kind of coming in on those days where there's way less swell in the water in general. And it's been kind of helping me stay pumping out and waiting for something to connect. Um, I think it turns really well, especially from my time on the 210. I got on the 210 Hyper 2 not too long ago and when I went to turn it, I bucked off forward. And I feel like this wing actually does turn quite well for its wingspan and size. It's a little bit of a slower wing compared to the 140. I'm sure you've heard that before. I personally am running it with the medium fuse just to stay on foil a little, a little longer. And uh, it's funny because the 170 was something that I really wasn't using. And then I got into this. All right, so as I said in the last episode, I was able to trade someone a board for this it's a 69 Sonova Elite downwind board. And uh, the reason why I want to ride it is because I want to learn a downwind SUP foiling and also for winging. And <sighs> winging has been really tough for me. I got to admit it. Um, to the point of where my last wing session, I was so exhausted uh, that I could not even get my wing in my bag. Exhausting. Um, I did eventually get up on foil. Unfortunately, it was so windy that I was afraid to put my solo shot. I've had my solo shot uh, come down from the wing and then I have to replace the lens because sand gets into all the little factors of that camera. So anyway, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. My friend Ed that does 
Fast Times Foiling. He's been kind of like my guru for winning. Uh, he's great on the water, understands how to do it, and is just a great teacher. Uh, if you're looking to learn to foil, wing, any sort of discipline, he's a guy to talk to. I'm gonna list his information at the end as well. Uh, so my experience so far with winging has not been extremely successful. I, again, as I said, I got up, but before that, I had to learn how to use the wing. And uh, let me tell you, uh, coming from no wing sports, I was uh, completely useless. Um, it was so hard. It still is so hard. I haven't figured it out. I was going to take like a month and just learn how to do it, but I feel like I have to still prone foil because I'm a lot uh, better at that compared to winging, so I have to have something to look forward to at times. I do look forward to progressing in the wing stuff, but it is so hard. Um, just learning how powerful the wing is when it gets some wind in it, um, it'll destroy you. Uh, I tried it skateboarding in a parking lot and I have pretty good balance. I've been skating since I was like six and that thing was still completely throwing me off. I then tried it in the river, was able to get up and just start to pump. That's not that hard. And I feel like once it's up on foil, it's easier because there's less uh, swell and everything kind of trying to knock you off. But just trying to keep the wind in the wing in the same spot is insane. Going upwind is insane. I tried to go switch, fell immediately. I can longboard switch. Uh, I can pop up switch. I can longboard switch. I can even cross step switch. I can't do anything switch on this thing, um, which is insane because I, I would think that I'm pretty good at balance. And this has uh, definitely changed my mind and but giving me something to look forward to. I don't understand how people learned to wing on anything smaller than this. I have this 60 liter uh, Amundsen Uncle Nubby. I'm not touching this until I am super proficient at this because uh, no way. Unless it's super windy, maybe I could try to do like some pop-up, but this gives so much more volume. It's literally twice the size and volume. So I'm trying to figure that out. I also got a paddle. This quick blade, uh, Kanaha 90. I apologize if I'm saying this wrong. Um, I was just looking for a decent paddle and this one uh, just happened to be there and grabbed it. And SUP is also something that I have never done. I can do it in a river, that's no big deal. I can stand up on this, no problem. But once I get into the ocean where there's swell, I am completely worthless and ended up uh, after about five minutes of trying, just decided to just paddle in on this board. And uh, God, I got to admit, I don't understand how people are going 20 miles on these things. Um, Compared to my small prone board, these things are so hard to pump. Um, they paddle insane. I paddled into a wave that didn't even break, was able to get it up on foil. It comes up on foil so much faster. Um, but trying to keep that momentum, I really got to figure that out. So I give you guys a lot of props. Um, I've been trying to stay safe. Monera hooked me up with this waist belt that I feel is um, probably pretty good to have something around my waist instead of around my leg, especially something in this high of liters. And also, 
got this impact vest because I still have no idea what I'm doing at all. So that's what's been going on. Anyone that's been asking for footage of me failing, you got tons of it to look at now. Uh, and yeah, I got a few new things on the way next week or next entry. I got the progression 13.5 tail. It's slick, it's sick, and uh, really looking forward to figuring that one out. And I also have the 125 on the way as we speak. So excited for that. Uh, could possibly replace my 140 completely. I've heard rumors that it is doing that to a lot of people. I've spoken to a few guys that have been kind of uh, helping me in my foil journey and they're saying that the 125 is insane. So yeah, look forward to that in the next entry. Again, I want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you, Monera. Thank you, Unifoil. And also thank you, Ed, for helping me and uh, yeah, just having patience. Anyway, until next time, get on foil. Peace.